RV reservation no-shows are becoming a huge problem. Yeah, this is Blind Views. And that's the way I see it. Oh yeah. What's up, Blind Viewers? How's everybody doing today? All right, we're going to talk about the RVers making reservations places and then just not showing up. It is becoming a huge problem. It is so prevalent that rules are being made now. All right, I guess the first thing we got to address is why would anybody make a reservation and then just not show up? Well, the answer is pretty simple. If you look at the uh, condition of what's going on right now with the RV industry, this is an yet another year, a record year of RV sales. Consecutive years of RV sales record being broken. That means more and more RVers are out on the road. That means more and more people are booking campsites. That means that the campsites are being full. That's right, booked to capacity, sometimes even overbooked. And that's another repercussion of the no-shows but the thing is is when you call and make a reservation and you say hey I want to reserve a spot uh, for next month oh the earliest we can get you in is I don't know eight months nine months maybe even next year so people are planning their vacations for the weekenders but now we add in the full-timers what are the full-timers doing well we watch them on YouTube all the time what do the full-timers do? They do pretty much whatever they want to do. No, I don't mean it that way, but it, they don't know where they're going to be next year exactly. They travel, they go, they figure out some kind of little plan, but they don't stick to schedules as far as, well, I'm going to be here and here and here. So, what do they do? If they want to book someplace, well, I want to be in the Florida Keys, or I want to be here, or eh. So they call and they try to book. Well, there's nothing available, so they book it anyway and then they'll book someplace else. And then they'll book yet someplace else. So what this does is this gives the illusion, that's right, the illusion, that these campsites are all booked up. So when the time comes, you call, you confirm your reservation, they say, yes, you are here, blah, 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 and they go, okay, cool. So that's where they go. Wherever they're closest at that time or wherever they think they wanna be or whatever, so they go to that RV site. What happens to the other ones? Screw them. We're not gonna call, we're not gonna cancel, we're not gonna do it, we're just gonna go. So they go to the one, so the other ones, or other one, whatever the case may be, is left empty, but they don't cancel it. So now, when somebody goes to an RV park and they go running through and they go, oh, they're lying. These RV parks aren't booked up. There's no shortage of sites. Everybody's just blowing smoke up their ass and they're, they're trying to get everybody scared and they're trying to get everybody all worried. There's no shortage of spots. Look, there's four of them right here that are open. There's plenty of room in these RV campsites. Huh. But they're not because those campsites are actually reserved. They're booked. They're just no shows. That's right, no-shows, because in most parks, and even in state and national parks, they have rules, and the rules for there are as follows. And the most common way to handle this is if someone doesn't show, they hold that spot until checkout the following day. So. If you book it for Friday and you don't show up, they will hold it Friday and then Saturday until checkout. And then after checkout on Saturday, then that spot again becomes available. So there, they hold it for almost two days. Well, Harvest Host, which is a club membership thing that uh, I'm sure most of you are aware of, but if you're not, it is businesses like uh, wineries or breweries or farms or things of that nature that have either huge parking lots or a farm has a big field or wherever but they have places to park and they allow someone to 
reserve through this Harvest Host Membership Club to call and reserve a spot and they can come and they can park there and stay overnight for free. All they have to do is go in and patronize the business, whatever it is. Go in and uh, buy a bottle of wine or go to the farm and buy some produce or whatever it is, whatever that business's specialty is. They just ask that you go in and uh, spend a little bit of your moolah and they'll let you stay outside. Now, Harvest Host has seen this uh, just happening a lot. And let's face it, there's lines and people waiting to get into RV parks and to these Harvest Host places and national parks, state parks. There are people that are just, again, dying to get in. They want to get in. There's no shortage of people. So when that spot sets empty because there's no shows, that means they're losing money. Let's face it, they're losing money because someone could be there. There's 20 people lined up just waiting to get in that are ready and willing to spend their money. And you just are a no-show, so therefore, they're losing money. So what Harvest Host said is, okay, here we go. First, that's right, your first time, you are gonna get a one-star review. So that means yes. Not only do you get to rate the place where you stay, but they rate you as a club member as well. So that one star review, eh, it's not going to kill you, but it's not a good thing. You don't want a whole bunch of those. Now, if you are bold enough to do it a second time, what they do is they do what is called a wellness check, I guess, per se is they will get a hold of you, they will contact you and make sure that one, you are still alive, <laughs> you are not in an accident or anything like that. And they ask you plain and simple, is there any reason why you are unable to make your reservation? So they actually get a hold of you, kind of harass you a little bit and give you that little stern talking to and the slap on the wrist. Now, if that doesn't do the trick, your little one-star review and your stern talking to through a phone call, if you do it again a third time, well, your membership is suspended for up to one year. So come on, let's face it, folks. It isn't up to a year. It's a year. <laughs> They're going to whack you for a year, I can guarantee you. And no refunds. So whatever you paid for that year's membership, you're not getting it back. And uh, yeah, you can't use the Harvest Dose for your suspension period. And then lastly, if they find out that you are reserving multiple locations for the same time, you will be done. You're out, Norman. That's right. Your membership will be revoked, not suspended, done. You're out, no more harvest hose for you, and again, no refunds they keep your money and they give you the boot You're out. so they're cracking down do you blame them leave a comment below what do you think because i think a lot more rules like this should be implemented and i think they should even be more strict than what these are that harvest host is putting across because again there's tons of people out there waiting to get into these spots and if you're just willy-nilly and just randomly booking a whole bunch of spots and then taking the one, uh, you know, the pick, you know, the pick of the litter, so to speak, and then just leaving the other ones go and not even calling and canceling to open these things up and you're just leaving them all tied up. One, you got a lot of your fellow RVers. We're just a great community. We love each other and we take care of each other. Well, it doesn't sound like you guys are taking care of each other very well if you're doing this kind of shit. And the people that own the park or the harvest host folks or the national or state parks they're all losing money because your thing is sitting there empty when they could be getting people in there that are going to hand them the money as they drive through the door and they're going to use the spot and they're going to spend the money on whatever little amenities they have if they have a little store they can buy stuff or get firewood or whatever but they're losing money and no one, especially here in America, likes to lose money. So with more and more people buying RVs and another 
record year in sales and there is actually a company that has a billions of dollars of RVs waiting that have not even been delivered yet due to the uh, the pandemic and and uh, supply chains being shut down and uh, then we had to freeze in in Texas so there's a lot of petroleum products that aren't available so with all these shortages of resources to build these things there's a lot of RVs that even that were ordered probably had down payments on people are probably paying for them that they don't have delivered yet so that means even more people are going to be out here in the future so what I see happen is there's even going to be more rules set in place for these no-shows. Hey, a rule is a rule. And let's face it, without rules, there's chaos. Now, I kind of don't blame some of the folks for booking multiple places because they're kind of being forced to, again, because there's more and more and more RVs out there and there's no extra and you don't hear about more and more and more rv parks but you hear record sales of rv so where are you going to put these things so people are trying to find places to camp and if you have to book again a year in advance and you're a full-timer especially you really don't know where you're going to be next year you might have an idea where you might want to be but you really don't know so some of these folks are just double triple quadruple booking places and then they're picking that one wherever they're closest to at the time and then just leaving the other ones reserved and sitting empty and that's not a good thing and people are going to get pissed be prepared folks look out for more rules and regulations and people getting pissed off because you're screwing the whole system up you don't have to believe me because most of you don't <laughs> that's not the point the point is, this is blind views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go to watch back, a video back, on back. overcrowded and overbooked campsites. Click this link to watch this video now.